हला मिड्रेड हला मिड्रेड रियाल मिड्रेड विंस द कोपा दल रे फॉर द ट्वेंटी टाइम आफ्टर ऑलमोस्ट a decade guys it is embarrassing but here we are we defeat osasuna 2-1 in the final and we are crowned the copa del rey champions it feels much more happier to win a copa del rey than to win a champions league at this point for a real madrid fan because we have been so much under pressure to win a copa del rey for such a long time Last time we won a Copa del Rey was against Barcelona when Gareth Bale his iconic run down the wing leaving Marc Batra in the dust and scored the goal but since then it's been almost 9 to 10 years and we couldn't just get our hands on it it was it was a curse it i think it was a curse to win the Copa del Rey again but here we are guys Rodrigo scoring two goals for the Real Madrid squad as they defeat Osasuna 2 or as i said I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. I'm excited because this is just the second trophy of the season and we also have one more trophy to fight for. La Liga is over. It doesn't matter but the Champions League mega contest is next week and it is our biggest opponent of the season. The ruthless, the Erling Haaland led Manchester City. That is one of the biggest matches of this season for Madrid but here we are let's talk about the Copa del Rey match Rodrigo opened the scoring in under 2 minutes under 2 minutes he opened the scoring after a brilliant Vinicius junior assist man Vinny Vinny was on fire last night Vinny was on fire running down the wing trembling the Osasuna defense he was ruthless Osasuna had no 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 answer for him they had no answer for him Vinicius came with an intent when he started the match I saw the look on his face he was ready he was focused he wasn't messing around it was seeing a glimpse of Cristiano Ronaldo in the finals that's what i felt that's what i felt after seeing Vinicius junior and he displayed that type of a performance an outstanding assist for Rodrigo as he buried it in under 2 minutes and i thought oh well this is going to be a stroll in the park that's what i thought but i was wrong as in the second half osasuna equalized with a brilliant goal you have to commend them it was a brilliant goal but it just wasn't enough to overcome madrid as madrid scores another goal with rodrigo around the 76 77th minute to make sure that real take home the trophy take home the copa del rey for the 20th time we struggled we struggled it wasn't an easy journey because in the semi finals we were against barcelona we lost the first leg but we came back in the second leg we deserved this title we fought for it even though our domestic travel won't be possible as we are already out of the la liga race it is what it is guys but winning the champions league is such a big 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 contribution we need to win it we need to win it and it it is so hard this time because manchester city th- this team is so ruthless as a madrid fan even i am scared because they have a striker in the form of erling haaland that has already banged over 50 goals this season and this monster is not stopping anytime soon you know you have to see that 50 goals is not a joke cristiano ronaldo and lionel messi have messed up our minds they think scoring 50 plus goals every season was a normal thing it isn't Erling Haaland after a long time he has become a player to score 50 goals in a season for City and Real's defense is somewhat still shaky you know it 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 still feels like we are very much sometimes dependent on Courtois saves it all it doesn't always hail mary it isn't always oh strawberries and apples it is sometimes ah uh, what do you say bad sour apples that's what i'll say because sometimes if militao is not playing and that is a big concern for real madrid as militao is suspended for the first like i just remember talking about militao then alaba and rudiger they haven't played together a lot this season and rudiger has still not settled in as we madrid fans want him to settle so he's a good defender but you never know what is going to happen next but real madrid Ha, oh Sasuna. That's what it is. It, 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 it didn't look like Madrid was troubled at that much because they had around 59-60% possession for the whole time. They were walk they were controlling the ball in the midfield. Yes, sometimes counter attacks were there which prompted Osasuna to score another goal and 
Kortoa, thank God to Kortoa, Danny Carvajal, the defense was rock solid. Carvajal putting on another great shift. Kudos to them, another great shift. So, Kortoa, man. The team is much, very much dependent on him. It was seen yesterday also because, and uh, as I've said, if, uh, if a striker like Haaland is going to bang in goals at your face, you need to have a strong keeper and a strong defence. A foundation is very necessary to stop this type of a player. And I believe Madrid has got what it takes. It's going to be an exciting matchup. We are going to host them at Bernabeu. The first leg is at Bernabeu. No more second leg Bernabeu comebacks are happening this season. So it is what it is. Real will be taking on Manchester City next week, guys. Stay tuned. If you don't watch the match, don't be a football fan. That's what I'll say. Like and subscribe for more football updates. Madrid are the Copa del Rey champions.